you there. Today we're going to be taking a trip to Agunquit, Maine, so I'm really glad that you made it. Agunquit's my favorite place in the world, and it's a place that my family's been going on vacation for many years at this point. So today I'm just going to take you all up there and I'm going to give you a tour around and show you why it's such a great vacation spot and a great day trip destination that's only roughly an hour north of Boston. So let's get to it. This is my cat, Oliver. Sorry, Els, you're not going to be joining us today. It's a little cold outside. Today we're leaving from Melrose, so our ride to Maine is going to be about an hour and 15 minutes. If you were to leave from Boston or the Somerville area, tack on another 15-20 minutes and your ride up to Agunquit will be approximately an hour and a half. But the first step on any trip up to Agunquit is to get your coffee to enjoy on your ride up. So naturally our first stop is going to be at Starbucks. Okay, so we're officially ready to go. I have my venti hazelnut mocha coconut milk macchiato, and we're ready to hit the road. So we've been on our drive for about 45 minutes. We're just going over the Piscataqua River Bridge. The bridge was built in 1971, and as you can see with this sign entering the state of Maine, this bridge connects the state of New Hampshire with the state of Maine. And over 60,000 vehicles come over this bridge each and every single day. Right now we're driving into a Gunkwit Center. We'll be visiting this later on our tour today. But I just wanted to give everybody a brief snapshot. There's a popular pizza restaurant, another popular restaurant here on the right known as the Front Porch, some beachy shops that people enjoy shopping around in after they take a ride on the trolley during the summertime. And now we're heading down to the beach. So we've officially arrived. Behind me here is my grandparents' house. This is where my whole family comes every single summer. We spend a good portion up here in July. and We have a tradition to have a big family party on the 4th of July, and we're here for pretty much the whole month. Um, we're about 15 minutes out of the center of Agunquit, and this is known as Moody Beach, which is at the end of Agunquit Beach, which is down the other side of this area. Now I'm knee deep in the water somewhere. Got the blue sky breeze blowing wind through my hair. Only worry in the world is the tide gonna reach my chair. This is what's known as Moody Beach. It's a little bit windy out today, so I'm gonna keep my talking brief because I'm sure the sound quality is not that great. But I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse of the ocean. Uh, this is a beautiful beach that I spend a good chunk of my summer on every year. Although it doesn't look that great today, the ocean up here is beautiful. Beautiful surf. Anytime you come out here in the summer, you'll see people paddle boarding, surfing, boogie boarding, swimming pretty much all day, and having campfires at night. It's a really great place. Here I go again. So as the sign says, this is it. We've made it down to downtown of Gunkwood. So if you want to follow me, I'll take you on a little tour. Now that we've escaped the elements of the beach, I thought maybe I'd show you around the area. This is a lot of the main ice cream stores and clothing shops. There's a lot of cute places to come shopping down here. So right now we're outside one of my favorite restaurants, Cornerstone Pizzeria. It's a really popular hangout in the summer in a bustling area of downtown of Gunkwood. So if you want to follow me, we'll go in and we'll see what they got. So now that we've wrapped up a beautiful meal at Cornerstone and we're full of pizza, you can't leave downtown Agunquit without stopping in the candy store. So
So that just about sums up our day in Agunquit. I'm really glad you guys came along with me. We got to explore the beach. We ate some awesome pizza. We even stopped in the candy store and roamed around downtown for a bit. So that wraps up a typical Agunquit day. And I hope you all enjoyed yourselves.